Hi guys, it's Reza, and today I have a tutorial for you, and that tutorial is about how to set up a document so you can draw stuff on your computer. Um, I'm going to be showing you on Clip Studio Paint, but a lot of these settings are found in other programs, and so yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to be talking to you about a few different settings that I use and that are available specifically in Clip Studio Paint, but also in a lot of other programs but here we have size which is how big it is so you can do that over here with the width and height and then resolution which is how many pixels you get per inch and then basic expression color that's basically whether it's going to be a black and white grayscale or color image to get started let's talk about digital drawing resolutions. So when you're working on something that's going to be on the internet or just shared on a computer, 72 pixels per inch is generally the right resolution to go for. Like the, this right here is 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels tall, which is what is generally referred to as full HD. And then there's also like 480 pixels, 720, 4K, and so on. But these are generally best for digital viewing of images. And then when you come to print resolution, generally you want 300 to 350 pixels per inch. And most programs will allow you to pick your size in inches or centimeters or whatever measurement you want to use rather than just having to count the pixels. One thing you want to keep in mind is making the file fit the biggest print you want to make of it. So if you're going for a poster print, you want to make it as big as your biggest poster because it's way easier and way better to size down than to size up. But there are a lot of like more standard resolutions. The, one I, the ones I use most often are 4 by 6 inches, 8 by 10 inches, 11 by 14 inches, and then B4 and A4. If you're posting online, you definitely want 72 dpi, partly because that's what's generally best for displays, and also because that will help you prevent art theft. You won't be able to easily prevent theft of your art being posted to other places online, but you, it is really hard to print a lower resolution image with a high quality. So make sure you one have 72 dpi if you're posting online and then two you want to save a high resolution file for your prints and a low resolution file for posting online so that you can have one that's harder to steal so another thing you want to take a look at is color so in clip studio they call this basic expression color other programs might call it something different but essentially it is how many colors are you going to be using in your image? This will depend on what you're making. So if you're doing a full image, you'll want to do color for sure. If you're doing a sketch or you're doing some concept art, you might want to start in a gray color mode, which will be the gray scale that you see here. These are the same image. I drew it in color and then I converted it. So the color, you've got all the different values and things. Grayscale, you will get just the values, which could be really helpful if you're starting a drawing or if you're doing a sketch or if it's something you're going to be printing cheaply like a zine. And then you have mono, which I have never used in a serious art piece because it's just black. You don't even get gray or anything. It's just black, which is why you see this kind of, it looks so grainy because there's no anti-aliasing because it's just black. Uh, I don't know of any reason you'd use that except if you do like very pixelated line art, you might. But that's something to consider when you're setting up your file. And then we have, where'd the color, where'd the color slide go? Heck. Well, we have layers. <laughs> so here are two kinds of ways you can go. You can do what I usually do, which is a bad idea, and not name anything, and never use folders, and struggle for the rest of your life. Don't do that. Or you can use names and folders, which makes everything so much easier because then you don't have to check every single layer to make sure that it's the right layer to be working on. Layers are super helpful because you can mess around with different parts of the drawing and do overlays and stuff, but you gotta use them the right way or you will die. <laughs> This video tutorial was pretty short, but I hope it helped you kind of understand what you need to consider when you're making your files so that you can make better art. I'll see you next week with another video. Bye!